it's so concentrated. You've got to think of the direction everything's going in, you've got to think of the weight of everything. And I found that I could only do an hour and a half at a time. It's a phrase, isn't it? Back to the drawing board. <laughs> I would love to inspire people to go back to the drawing board. <laughs> I started off exclusively with plants. Plants go easily into repeat. And if you've got an idea of a plant, straight bits and different sorts of curves, and you've got to actually look at draw. The first task is to draw a grid. Your lines are there because this is the this shape of the repeat. And whatever you think of has to be repeated four times. If you're designing on a computer, you've got a, a ready-made image and you don't like this and you don't like that, so you get it altered. And you don't have to do all this handwork. But the, the what you lose and what you miss is the idea's coming while you're drawing. You've got time to think and one idea grows out of another. I went to art school. I studied there for five years. I did a foundation course. I needed something to do with small children and I found that painting was too demanding. So I thought, why not make large liner books and just print it? I have two sons and one daughter. Jo is my daughter. And because she likes doing it, she's come in and now carries a major part of the work. So we've got an order. We know it's for cobweb design. We know they want the first colour printed in this grey and they want the second colour overprinted in that red. I think you could probably mix more than that because we're doing six rolls today but it's quite a good base colour, isn't it? Well, with, when you're painting, you're only doing a little bit and you dab it on the canvas and if it's wrong, you scrape it off. But you don't have to mix vast quantities like this and you don't have to match something else. It's a much more intuitive thing when you're painting. Slight bit of ochre and a bit mm. more white. Yeah? Mm. Yeah, okay. In Brixton there was a second hand printing machine where I was. And them? this little press was sitting in the corner. I, I've had it since the late 60s. But well, it weighed Nearly a ton, I think. I paid £160 for it. It solved my problem. This is what we're printing today. The pattern is over one block, but there are two blocks that go to make up that pattern. There are two parts of the process. Mum's made a mark. As you pull it through, it lines up against one of these pencil marks on here. Because it's two colours, when we've got to the end of six rolls, we have to re-roll it all up to pull it through again to print the second colour over that. There's another type, which is a two-block single colour design. That block with the house on it and that block with the garden on it. So the first printing involves printing the house once leaving a gap, printing the house again, re-rolling all of that, and coming back and printing the garden in the gaps. The more choices you have, the harder it is to design. Well, I started off with a castle, Craigie Bar Castle. What happened? I, I, needed a drawbridge here for the boats to go, go on 
forever and I couldn't get a picture of a drawbridge so then I thought about a, a Dutch type of bridge that Van Gogh put in his paintings yeah so I thought well I have that and then of course immediately it turned into Holland Well, of course, William Morris is always a, an inspiration. This is his working drawing, and it's completely satisfying. The colour, the shapes, the, the rhythm, and you can't really speak about it because it, it speaks for itself. It's almost as if he's arranged the plants much more, whereas when I'm drawing, I give the plants their heads and follow them. He makes the plants follow him. You do a drawing, but once you trace it onto the rhino and start cutting, you're working blind because you've no idea what it's going to look like. And of course you learn from your mistakes. I'm, I'm, I'm old and it's so easy to sit in the sun and read my book rather than get working. But I do, I, when I just get going, I do love it. I love drawing. I didn't realise it, it was at all important, what I was doing. And I begin to see that there's very little actual handmade stuff around anymore. And I do think hand printing and making things is important.